I've been waiting a long time to talk to you guys about this one. We're talking about Lauren Oliver's Panic, the TV show. It's time to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Klepsi XFM, brought to you by WeAreCritics.com, place where we talk about movies, television, and pop culture. And if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe key and that notification bell so you can be up to speed about everything that I talk about here. Now, guys, uh, I, I had the opportunity to screen uh, early. Like, we're talking a long time ago, but I had to, I had to keep tight lip on it because uh, it's supposed to be a big deal. Uh, the name of the series... It's called Panic, and it comes from a 2014 novel written by Miss Lauren Oliver. Uh, and I, listen, I'm by by no means am I a reader. Like I'm not a big uh, novel or book reader, but other than comic books, like I love comic books. I read comic books. I read graphic novels, that kind of thing. But um, when I got this series. Uh, I didn't realize, shout out to Amazon too, because Amazon hooked it up, they always bless me, they take care of me, they, they, they give me the goods, and I bring the goods to you guys, and I let you know, you know, if it's worthy or not, or if it's worth a fair peek, and before we get into this whole, you know, my review or what I thought about this series, because um, by the time you guys see this, it'll be up, uh, and, and you'll be able to peep and check it out for yourself, um, but... I want to talk about how I, you know, I, I fell into this thing. I watched it and then I did my research and I found out that it was actual, actually a book, a novel by, again, Lauren, Lauren Oliver, um, who's known for doing other series. She's done uh, a, a continuing series. And this was supposedly the first book that she kind of stepped out of that series and just did a one-off on. Uh, and it was received very well um, from what I saw. A lot of people uh, really are into it and... It has a lot of fans and, and a lot of people talking about it. Um, there were a few mixed reviews here and there, uh, but more like character stuff. It wasn't anything like, oh, this was a horrible storyline or it wasn't good. But people, you know, people when they read and they have their favorite authors, they get attached to certain characters and they, you know, they they have their own opinions about the people that they, that they see. Now, um, in saying that, me going into this blind and not knowing anything about this book, not knowing anything about these characters until I saw it, it works for me. Now, do I think that the book readers are going to enjoy this movie? That I cannot answer you. And I'm being really honest, I am so sorry to those people who are like diehard fans of, of, of uh, uh, Miss Oliver's work and in and, and this book because I can't really speak to it. So if there's anyone out there who has read this book, who can share and shed some light on some of the key points in this book, I will share what I know about the show and we can kind of compare notes if you don't care about spoilers. Um, because from what I did, from what I re read my research, it is completely different, completely different from the original uh, book. Different in good ways so that people who are familiar with the story can still be surprised but then different in ways where there's like an entire plot line that is crammed into this thing that isn't even in the book. <laughs> now, and that's my, that's what I'm thinking. That's my opinion uh, based on the research that I've done. But if I'm wrong, please come and let me know. Um, but we're going to talk about did I like it or not like it. But first, I wanted to get that out the way. Now, to, to be fair, the TV show adaptation was in fact rewritten by Lauren Oliver. Lauren Oliver, sorry. Uh, so this is her baby, essentially. And maybe she just took key points from the book and said, you know what? Now I'm in a, in a space where I can really do what I want and showcase this. So I'm going to tweak this and tweak that and, and kind of still, uh, because it's still well written. Like it's not terribly written and it's written for television. You know, television and, and, and literature are two different spaces and it's very entertaining and you will watch it now without saying all of that let's get into panic the television show which stars uh olivia welsh um uh ray nicholson who is the son of jack nicholson who a lot of people probably won't you know you, he looked familiar to me. I didn't, I, I just was just like, this guy looks really familiar. I don't know where I know him from. Then did the research and was like, oh wow, look at that. He's Nicholson, related to Jack. He's the son of, uh, you know, the legend, Jack Nicholson. Um, 
Mike Mike Faced. I hope I'm saying his name right. Mike Faced or Fast Faced. F A I S T. Who you don't know really yet, but you will know because uh, I'm pretty sure I saw him in the West Side Story uh, adaptation film that's coming uh, in December or later this year. Uh, so uh, look out for him. Shout out to him. He's, he's in this and he's a very pivotal character. Uh, he plays Doge Mason for anyone that knows the book. Uh, and uh, uh, Olivia, she plays uh, Heather Nill, the, the the main character. Now, the story, it follows Heather Nill and this whole town of teenagers who every year they have this big competition, this game, game thing that they do called Panic. Uh, every day of the year, students put in a pot, they put money in a pot until they get to the end of the year so that they can have these games and whoever wins the games uh, gets the pot and is you know chosen to take this money and leave town because it's a very small town this thing is like footloose meets saw <laughs> um, I'm exaggerating a little bit but it's funny because you know it's a really bo uh, boring rural town and everybody knows everyone's business that kind of thing and the kids are just kind of fed up with it and this is the only way that they know how to assure that one of them can move on and get out and maybe in the long run pull another person out with them but uh, the games are based on fear it's called panic and they're very deathly death defying uh very just dangerous uh things that they have to do and, and kind of face their fears and they use each other to figure out what each other's fears are so that the games can be catered and customized to its players um in the past things didn't go well for certain kids I'll tell you that much. I won't spoil anything else, um, but that's pretty much the basis of it. And Heather, uh, <coughs> excuse me, something happens to Heather. She was always against this, and something happens that kind of puts her in play. Let's just say she has she has to play. Uh, in her in her own heart, she feels that this is her only way to solve a situation. So she ends up playing. Um, it's kind of intense. It's cool. It's a it's a good it's a decent ride. And then there's this, this extra plot that I was telling you about that I don't think is in the book, but it gets crammed into this thing and it works. But it was a bit it was a bit predictable. Sorry, it was a bit predictable uh, to me uh, watching it because I just watched so much shit that it's very hard to surprise me. So when I am actually surprised, that ends up going into my list of all time. You know. Uh, stories or, or films um, but it works for the story uh, the kids do a phenomenal job uh, I, I I oh yeah there's a lot of character changes uh, tr looks wise a lot of character look from doing my research again characters reading um, the, you know nowadays it, the, every res representation matters and there's a lot of you know changing in the way characters look and uh, so, but other than that, for me, if you're blind going into this, I think you're gonna really probably enjoy it. You'll watch it and you'll be like, "This is pretty damn solid." I mean, it's a pretty good show. Um, um, I believe there were ten episodes. I can't remember how many episodes there actually were. Let me double check for you guys. There are ten episodes. There are ten episodes. Um, about an hour piece. Uh, and yeah, man, panic. It's it's. If you guys are familiar with the book, please, someone reach out to me because I really want to know more about uh, this book. I'm not, I'm not going to go, that's just, not, I don't got the time to do, to, to do that. I'm not saying that, you know, it's probably, a, it's probably a really great read, but like I said, I don't really have the time to read this to, to do a solid comparison, but what I can do is tell you that the, uh, the show is very uh, high strung and very intense and there are some uh, pretty wild uh, things that go on in this game. Um, you know what I can compare it to, and this is the word. I know I made a joke earlier when I was comparing it to uh, Footloose meets Saw, but it's more along the lines of Thirteen Reasons meets Footloose uh, meets Fear Factor. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you guys. Uh, 
there was like a sense of like these teen drama shows that now they're just getting cranked up a notch to the point where just teenagers are just really cruel to each other. I I don't relate to this, but when did high school become so goddamn cutthroat? Like it is this is stuff that you would see in like adult drama, you know, like, you know, where people it's like life or death. Like people's lives are literally at stake here and these kids have no remorse, like no conscience, no morals. There it's like people can die the day and it's just rolls off their back and they don't they'll keep the secret until the day they die. Like I don't come from that. I don't know where this became the ongoing trend, but it's very scary and sometimes and watching this you're on the edge, like, yo, how far are they gonna take this? Um it's a sad, it's a sad uh, but popular trend going on in a lot of teen uh, melodramatic uh, series and movies and, and more series than anything. Uh, not so much in movies. Movies are like it's in and out, you're done. But these series that get dragged out and get season after season after season, and it's just like constant uh, backstabbing and you know borderline, you know murders and people not opening up. It's whatever. I digress, but yes, if I had to compare, it would be like 13 Reasons meets uh, Footloose uh, meets Fear Factor. <laughs> uh, but uh, other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I want to know more about the book, so please, anybody out there that has seen this, read this book or can compare notes with me, let's do it. Because I just, just for myself, I just want to know because um, I like to know when, you know, adaptations get changed here and there. But yeah, guys, that's Panic, uh, which is going to be on Amazon Prime. Uh, by the time you see this, it should be live. But uh, if for some reason something changes, it's the 28th that it'll be on Amazon Prime. Uh, and there are 10 episodes, guys, an hour piece. Make sure you check it out. Uh, and I will talk to you guys. I mean, let me know what you think when you see it. Come back, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And for more movie news, television news, pop culture, and my podcast, Critics Talk, make sure you guys check out wearecritics.com. And I will talk to you all later. Peace.